Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a C++ program to find the sum of two compatible matrices. Here the sum of two compatible matrices means the number of rows and number of columns of both the matrices must be equal. In such a situation only the sum of matrices is possible. For example, I am going to write A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 are the elements and B is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8 are the elements. Then the corresponding elements will be added. For example, 1 plus 2 will be added. Then corresponding element 2 plus 4 will be added. Next corresponding elements 3 plus 6 and the corresponding element 4 plus 8 will be added. So after this, we are going to simplify. So let us say this is sum. S is equal to 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 4 is 6, 3 plus 6 is 9, 4 plus 8 will become 12. So this is the resultant matrix. Now let us start writing the preprocessor directives. I'll write hash include in an angular brace. We'll write io stream dot h header file hash include and in angular brace we'll write console input output dot h header file. Let us write main function wide main curly open brace and here in a declaration section i am going to declare array of type integer that is a of size 5 and 5 that is first subscript represent row and the second subscript represent column similarly i am going to uh, declare one more matrix of size 5 and 5 and next one more matrix called s that is sum of size 5 and 5. Next we are going to take the indices i, j and then we will take r1 and c1, r2 and c2. So here r1 and c1 are the row and column of the first matrix and r2, c2 are the row and column of the second matrix. Now let us write clr, scr function which is used to clear the screen. Now we will ask the user to enter the order of the first matrix using cout statement stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark I am going to write enter the order of the first matrix. So end the double quotation mark and put semicolon and we are going to receive the response from the user through keyboard using scene stream extraction operator. Here I am going to take R1 and c1 so r1 stream extraction operator c1 and then put semicolon next we'll ask the user to enter the order of the second matrix in a double quotation mark i'm going to write enter the order of the second matrix end the double quotation mark and put semicolon and we are going to receive the response from the user through keyboard using c in stream extraction operator and then i'll take r2 stream extraction operator c2 and then put semicolon now compatibility means we have to check whether the uh, number of rows and number of columns of both of these two matrices are equal or not for that i have to write if r1 is equal to r2 i'll write here one more opening brace and one more condition we have to check so that's the reason i am using here logical ampersand so column must also be equal so c1 is equal to c2 if both of these two conditions satisfy then the control enters into the body of if statement now we will ask the user to enter the elements of the first matrix using cout statement stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark i'm going to write enter the elements of the first matrix and then i'm going to write backward slash n and then end the double quotation mark put semicolon and now we are going to receive the elements one by one using for loop i'll write for i is equal to zero i is less than r1 next i plus plus and one more iterative statement for j is equal to zero because here these two are indices j is equal to zero that j is less than c1 and then j plus plus now we are going to receive the response from the user through keyboard using this c in statement now i am going to receive the uh, values 
and it will be stored in a of i j here i'm going to write a of i and j and then put semicolon so after this we will ask the user to enter the elements of the second matrix here in a double quotation mark i'm going to write enter the elements of the second matrix so backward slash n and the double quotation mark and put semicolon again we are going to use for i is equal to 0 i is less than this time we have to take r2 so r2 and put semicolon i plus plus next for loop for j is equal to 0 j is less than c2 then j plus plus now we will write c in statement similar to this and this time we are going to take the elements for the next matrix that is b here i am going to write b of i j and then put semicolon after this i have to perform addition so how to perform addition once again we are going to take the same iterative statement for i is equal to 0 i is less than r1 then i plus plus next i'll write for j is equal to 0 j is less than c1 then j plus plus now i'm going to perform sum that is here i'm going to take this particular matrix s of phi phi so here i'm going to write uh, s of i j is equal to a of uh, i this is i j plus b of i j and put semicolon so after performing addition of the corresponding elements the value will be stored in one more matrix called s okay here we are going to write c out statement and resultant matrix is in a double quotation mark i'm going to write the resultant matrix is and here i'm going to write backward slash n and the double quotation mark and put semicolon and we'll use for loop for i is equal to 0 i is less than r1 and then i plus plus and here i'm going to write uh, curly open brace and then i'm going to use the inner for loop for j is equal to 0 j is less than c1 and then j plus plus and here i'm going to write c out statement and then uh, i'm going to write yes because the value is stored in s of ij so here i'm going to write s of i j and then put semicolon and after this iteration i'm going to write c out and here i'm going to write stream insertion operator endl statement okay so curly closing brace for this outer for loop and uh, one more curly open brace was there for this if so we are going to close it over here and after this if the number of rows are not equal to number of columns then what it has to display it has to display the else part here i'm going to write else c out statement c out in a double quotation mark i'm going to write matrices are not compatible end the double quotation mark end l and here i'm going to write get ch function and curly closing brace now let us uh, take an example so once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter the order of first matrix for example here i am going to write 2 and 2 so that is 2 rows and 2 columns then it will ask the user to enter the order of second matrix even the second matrix order if i enter 2 and 2 then here we are going to check out the condition r1 is equal to r2 or not here this is r1 this is c1 this is r2 and this is c2 right yes now we can compare this condition with this so r1 is equal to r2 yes condition is true and c1 is equal to c2 yes condition is true true and true is always written true once the condition is true the control enters into the body of this if statement next see out enter the elements of first matrix for example i am going to enter the same elements here i am going to enter 1 2 3 4 so it will be in the form of matrix but it will be mapped in a memory something like this 0 1 index number 0 1 okay next 
after inserting the elements of the first matrix it is going to ask the user to enter the elements of the second matrix using these two iterative statement we are going to insert the elements for matrix b for example i am going to enter the next elements that is 2 4 6 8 so it will be mapped in a memory something like this in a consecutive order whose index number is 0 and 1 here this is matrix a and this is matrix b right so after inserting the elements you can see here we have taken the same two iterative statements and then we are performing the addition of the corresponding elements here we will just see and check out whether it is working properly or not so s of ij is equal to s of ij for the first time i is 0 j is 0 so here it is pointing to i is pointing to 0 and even j is also pointing to 0 so that is 0 0 consisting of what 1 next b of ij here i is pointing to 0 and even j is pointing to 0 so here 1 plus 2 will be added again control transfers 2 so 1 plus 2 will be added means what it will become 3 so 3 will be stored in s of 0 0 so let us consider we have got one more matrix that is s correct s is equal to 0 1 0 1 so this one will be stored in s of 0 0 so 1 plus 2 is added and it is stored in s of 0 0 next again control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 now j is 1 1 is less than column is what 2 correct so 1 is less than 2 yes it is true so once again this particular statement will get executed now the value of j is 1 s is 0 0 1 so here it is pointing to 0 1 so that is next corresponding element will be stored over here okay next a of 0 1 a of 0 1 consisting of 2 similarly b of 0 1 b of 0 1 consisting of what 4 2 plus 4 will be added so it will be 6 6 is added to s of 0 1 s of 0 1 consisting of value 6 now similarly again control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 now j is 2 2 is less than 2 no condition fails once the condition fails control transfers to outer for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i is 1 j is 0 correct yes next s yes of 1 0 so s of 1 0 in this particular block we have to insert the element next a of 1 0 a of 1 0 consisting of 3 similarly b of 1 0 b of 1 0 consisting of 6 3 plus 6 is 9 9 will be stored in s of 1 0 s of 1 0 is holding 9 so similarly again control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 now j value is also 1 i value was 1 j value is also now 1 next s of 1 1 here you can see s of 1 1 so in this particular block we have to insert the next element so here you can see a of 1 1 a of 1 1 consisting of 4 similarly b of 1 1 consisting of what 8 4 plus 8 is 12 12 will be initialized to s of 1 1 so 12 will be stored over here next it is going to print the resultant matrix is just because of this backward slash n cursor come down to the next line and how exactly it is going to print here for i is equal to 0 i is less than r1 and i plus plus for j is equal to 0 j is less than c1 and j plus plus here c out s of ij so this particular statement will iterate through the inner for loop for the first time s of 0 0 i is 0 j is 0 so here it is going to print 3 correct yes again control transfers to this inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 j is 1 i was 0 0 1 so here you can see 0 1 it is going to print the next value 6 correct okay so again control transfers to this inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 now j value is 2 2 is less than c1 is what 2 2 is less than 2 no condition fails once the condition fails control comes out of this inner for loop and then it is going to print uh, c out endl so actually endl is non printable character that brings the cursor down to the next line after printing this 6 the cursor will come down to the next line that is to the first column then the control transfers to the outer for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is what 1 1 is less than r1 is 
2 it is true now j is 0 so i is 1 j is 0 i is 1 j is 0 so here we are going to print 9 okay again control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 now i is 1 j is also 1 so here s of 1 1 consisting of what 12 so 12 will be printed right so again control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 now it is 2 2 is less than 2 no condition fails then c out and l so cursor come down to the next line and again control goes to the outer for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 2 2 is less than r1 is 2 2 is less than 2 no condition fails then here control comes out of this looping construct and then it executes get ch and then terminates the program so what is going to happen if i run this program one more time so it is going to ask the user to enter the order of first matrix now i'm going to enter order 2 and 2 that is r1 is equal to and c1 is equal to next it is going to ask the user to enter the order of second matrix for example i'm going to enter r2 is equal to 2 and c2 is equal to 3 for example right so here we are going to check out this condition if r1 is equal to r2 here you can see r1 is equal to r2 condition is true this is true and here you can see c1 is equal to c2 no 2 is not equal to 3 hence this is returning false here it is true and this is false true and false always returns false value if this condition returns false then the control will never enter into the body of this if statement and any of these statements will not get executed so control directly jumps to what else part so it is going to print matrices are not compatible so here only it is going to check out and it is going to print matrices are not compatible now let us execute this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error i'll press enter now let us run this program by pressing ctrl f9 here it is asking the user to enter the order of first matrix for example i'm going to enter two rows and two columns and now it is asking the user to enter the order of second matrix once again i'm going to enter two rows and two columns and then i'll press enter here you can see it is asking the user to enter the elements of first matrix for example i'm going to enter one two three four and now it is asking the user to enter the elements of second matrix now i'm going to enter two four six eight and then press enter here you can see it is printing the resultant matrix is 3, 6, 9 and 12. I hope you understood this program. If so, please write down in the comment box as understood. Thank you.